of hide in C major for you today, one of my favorite cello concertos written. And so I want to talk to you about moving not only to the fourth position, but a little bit further. And I'm going to accelerate your learning process by introducing you to octave on a string. It's the third scale exercise in my scale exercises for cello. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the technique. With octave on a string, we start in the first position right here, and then we shift up here to the fourth position that is with the blue-green bracket, and then we shift up one more time for very close two, three, two, which is the space in between, and then the third finger here on the harmonic. So on the very first exercise, A major, it's zero, one, three, four, shift up, one, three, shift up one more time, two, three. I want you to look at the hand shape that I'm making here. I'm actually putting the first finger where the F sharp is. This is a shape that you need to get used to. We shift between position shapes. We don't shift between the placement of fingertips. Let's remember that. On the D will be the same fingering. It's going to be 0, 1, 3, 4, shift up to fourth position, and then shift up one more time with a close 2, 3 at the end. It continues the same for G and C. This is the exact same fingerings. We'll have a little bit of a change with the E major. E major calls for us to start in extension right here. So we do a 1, 2, plus 4, then we shift up once more to here, the fourth position, and then we shift up once more Instead of putting the two where the sharp was, we're putting our first finger. Then we're passing completely over the harmonic, and then we're dropping our third finger very close, almost touching on the E. And of course, you don't see a tape there because we're getting to that expert level, which we use black tapes. One more time for the E major. One, two, plus four, and you want to start in position. I'll play it shortly. One, three, shifting up beyond one, two, three. Notice where the thumb is. You want to have a physical cue point. I have one here for my thumb and also one here for my hand when you start to play in these positions. You don't want to start fishing for the, for the notes. The same thing is for the B major. One, two, plus four. Shift up, one, three. Shift up once more. Passing over, one, two, three. I'll play them for you now. One, two, three, four. Thanks for watching my octave on a string technique video. Please like if you have learned something and subscribe if you want to learn more. You can also look at this video, it's the second in this series about the chromatic scale. Or certainly you can just check out this video which will be appropriate for also your learning process. Again, thank you for watching and stick around. I think you're going to learn a lot.